Through the years, I've been asked many times about how much discipline it takes to become a professional martial artist and a ballet dancer. And the short answer is it doesn't take any discipline at all. Because it only takes discipline to do something that you don't want to do. All you have to do is say yes and then allow your intentions to blossom into reality. Whenever I start a new fitness program, I make a simple promise. I will not do too much. I purposefully restrict what I'm allowed to do so I only get a little taste of physicality. And usually, I feel so much exhilaration that I can't wait to get back into the gym the next day. My first day back, I go into the gym with a simple plan. Execute only two sets per body part just to get the blood flowing. Okay, it's my goal today not to overdo it. Just a couple of sets per body part. By setting such a reasonable goal, I'm practically guaranteed to secure one more positive memory to go into my subconscious mind and my weight loss memory bank. Did you know that the skin is the largest organ of the body? It's important to regularly work up a sweat so you can rid the body of excess toxins that build up over time. Personally, I do not lift heavy weights anymore. I'm not in competition with anyone because this is my fitness meditation where I see in my mind what it is that I want to become. So my focus is on technique, clean technique. Today's the end of my third week of my fitness routine where I'm trying to lose a pound and a half a week for 12 weeks. At the end of the first week, I was right on target. I lost a pound and a half, exactly what I expected to lose. However, at the end of my second week, I'd only lost a half a pound. Still, it's progress in the right direction. I am hoping that today I should weigh about 167 and a half pounds. I'm going to check in after I go to the gym and I'll let you guys know how I did this week. I just want to show steady loss. The good news is this week I found that I cinched my belt an extra belt loop. So that's a step in the right direction. If you've been living a sedentary lifestyle, it's foolish to go into the gym and try and get all your fitness back in one day. It's just not going to happen. What is likely to happen is you will overexert your muscles to the point that you'll be sore as heck the next day, you could get injured, and you could release so many toxins into your bloodstream that you'll feel sick. This only makes it harder to make it into the gym the next day. So take it easy. So this is the end of my third week of training. I went to the gym today and I'm happy to say that I lost two pounds. I weighed 167 pounds today. So last week, you may recall, I only lost a half a pound, which actually kind of sucked. I was pretty depressed about it, but I stuck to my guns. I tightened up my diet. Basically, I'm back on schedule exactly where I figured I'd be about a pound and a half a week. So, uh, so far I've lost about five pounds and uh, I'm a quarter of the way to my goal of losing 20 pounds. One of the funnest ways for me to get some exercise is to just take my dog for a walk. It's so much fun to go out, play with my dog, and before you know it, I've already had an hour's worth of great exercise. Thank you for watching this Christo Fitness video. Please rate, subscribe, tell a friend, and remember, we can do it.